Hi again, here we are to continue our weather app in Xcode 7. And in the first video, I created, um, you know, a storyboard and I set up my, my elements and storyboard here, my labels and a button. And then I connected those elements to my view controller by setting up IB outlets and an IB action. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to, um, create a pop-up that asks for your um, your city name so you you know it'll be a little pop-up that appears in front of the screen you'll tap the city button and then the pop-up will show up and you'll be allowed to type in the name and click OK so uh, so anyway so here's the action here set city and right now we just print this little thing to the terminal but maybe we're gonna add another function here let's say um, how about open city alert? Okay, so I'm going to add a new function here. It'll go outside of these other functions, but inside the class. Okay, so the class starts at this curly brace and ends at the bottom one. And then each one of these functions is defined inside the curly brace for the code block, right? So this one's going to be its own right here. Okay, so I'll put it here. And I'm, I'm making this its own function. We could have written the code inside this IB ac action right here, but by putting it outside, then we could call it from anywhere. So maybe you want to open the pop-up without tapping on the button, right? And so to call on the pop-up from the button, what we'll do is we'll put the uh, we'll, we'll put a call to the function right here. So I'll just say open city alert, follow it with the parentheses, and that will invoke this function. Okay, so how do we open up an alert? dialog box. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make an alert controller. Okay, so I'll start here with let alert equal. And what I'll do is I'll talk, I'll, I'll do a, um, what is it, a UI alert controller. Okay, and there's a couple of these. You'll, there's an alert view and an alert controller. The alert view is the older one and they've kind of updated it to this alert controller. So we're going to use the new one. Okay, and I'll hit the parentheses here. And then you can see there's a couple choices here for the alert controller, okay? And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to choose this last one that says um, UI alert controller um, title string message preferred style, right? So we're gonna choose that, okay? And for the title right here, this is gonna be the title of the alert box and it appears at the top of the box. So I'll say city, okay? Um, and then over here, the message, that'll appear in the box below the title, right? And so we'll maybe do this one as um, uh, enter city name. And then the preferred style right here can be one of two styles. And we, we're gonna set the style to a, a UI alert controller style, oops, Hit return there. Let's uh, let me fix that. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to click on this and hit return. Right. So I just want it to type UI alert controller style for me. Okay. And uh, you know if this is a little hard to read, you can put a line return here. Maybe I'll do that. Right. So I want it to read like this. Preferred style is a UI alert controller style. And then I'll hit the dot at the end of this. And then there's two styles that we can choose from. And you can see these two are, you know, UI alert control style action sheet and UI alert controller style alert. So the action sheet is like, a, it's hard to describe. It's one of those things that pops up from the bottom of the screen with a horizontal stack of buttons, right? Um, and then the, the alert is the little dialog box that pops up in the middle of the screen, and it can have buttons at the bottom, okay? We're gonna choose this one. And the reason we're gonna do the alert rather than the action sheet in this case is that the action sheet doesn't allow you to add a text input field, but the alert does. So we need to have an, an input field so you can type in the city name, and the alert will allow for that. So we're gonna choose that one. <clears throat> just as a note, um, it, you know, we can type this whole thing out and I'll leave it like this, but you're actually allowed to leave that off and you can just do dot alert 
style, right, or alert, whatever the, the value is for this enum. Um, and that's kind of a shortcut there, so you'll see people do that. Um, so anyway, so there's our alert dialog box, right? And um, then to show the alert dialog box, what we'll do is we'll say self dot um, present uh, present view controller. Okay, so I'm gonna just type self dot, and then I'll start start typing present, and then I'll you know it'll say presentation view controller or presentation controller or present presented view controller presenting view controller, and then the very bottom one is present view controller. And then it's got view controller and animated and some other options there. So we'll choose this one and I'll hit return. And essentially what we did here is we made a special view controller that's an alert view controller. It's built into the system. And then we presented that view controller here with present view controller. Okay. And we're telling self because our UI view controller that is the the main class here has the ability to present another view controller on top of itself right and that's what we're we're asking it to do so uh, right here where it says view controller to present well you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in alert because that's the name of the view controller that we want to present and you'll notice that little warning that was here goes away I think that was telling us that we had a variable that we defined that we hadn't used yet so now we've used it and so so that warning goes away and then the option here where it says animated, and it's a Boolean, this is a true or false, right? A Boolean can be true or false. And it's just asking us like, hey, do you want to animate the presentation? Of, or when we present this view controller, do you want to animate that process? I'm going to say, yeah, let's, let's make an animated presentation there. And then completion, this is a function. Like this looks a little weird here, but essentially this is defining a function that returns void and receives no parameters. And it's optional, right? And the function here can happen like when you're done presenting the view controller, do you want something to happen? And actually, you know, we don't want anything to happen, so I'll click on that to highlight it and then just type nil. Okay, so that'll just say, no, nah, we we're not going to use that. Okay, and let's give this a test. So I'll, I'll, you know, click the play button here, build my project. and wait patiently while it loads. Any moment now. Oh, there we go, right. So now it's loading up in the simulator. Oh, there's our city right there. And then I'll click the button here, set city and then there's our, our pop-up, right? It says city, that's, the, that's the, um, the title. And then the text right here is the message, enter city name. And then this is the style of um, you know, alert controller, okay? And you'll notice there's no way to close this, right? We have to actually include some buttons, right? So, uh, so how do we do that? Um, so anyway, there we go. And just for fun, why don't we, um, why don't we change this right here? I've got a, a UI alert controller style. I'm going to change this to action sheet just so you can see what the action sheet looks like. Um, and we'll test it again. And then I'll click the button and you'll see the action sheet appears at the bottom like this. Okay. Uh, so there we go. So we'll just stop. I'll just click the stop button there. Let's change this back to alert. And how do we add a button to the alert dialog box? Well, um, to create an, a button, what we do is we create a, a UI um, alert action, okay? And that represents the button. And then we add that action to the alert controller, and it creates the buttons for us, okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to say let cancel, that'll be our cancel action, equal UI alert action. Okay, so I'm going to choose a UI alert action from the menu here. I'll just start typing part of it until I can see the options I want, right? And then I'll start typing parentheses, and there's a couple ways to initialize this, right? It gives us the no initializer, or we can set these properties, right, of title, style, handler, okay? And I'm going to choose the second one here. 
And when I see all the stuff there, I'll hit return and it'll fill it in. And now for the title string, this will be our cancel button. So we'll, we'll make it a string and we'll say cancel. And then, you know, you can hit tab to jump to these little areas where you got to fill in the text, right? Maybe I'll do this. I'll put this on another line here like I did on the other one. It'll be a little easier to read. So there we've got uh, style, um, UI alert, action style. And I'll hit return there. And again, this is another of these enums, right? So this is like a name that represents multiple values. So I'll hit return so it spells out UI alert action style. And then at the end here, I'll hit the dot and it'll give me the styles that are available. And the styles essentially, the default ones are these three at the top. Cancel, default, and destructive. Okay, so you use cancel when it's a cancel option, right? And that's what we're going to use. Use default for all other styles. And if the action could like delete a file or remove something permanently, use destructive. And the style of this, you'll see, um, you, you, you've probably seen this on your iPhone before, but cancel is the normal button. You know, um, destructive, the text is red to tell you that something is wrong. And that's really the difference between these, okay? Um, so I'll choose cancel as the style here. And now that we've created that, we need to give it a handler. So the handler is a function that receives a UI alert action as a parameter and returns void. And it's also optional, so it's got the question mark there. And actually, you know, when you cancel, I don't need anything to happen, so I'm just gonna type nil in place of the of the action or the handler, okay? And now, now that we've created this action, we need to attach it to our alert to make something happen. So what I'll do is I'll say alert dot add action and again, I just start t start typing add until I see add action appear on the list. And then you can see it says action right there. And, th and this action is type UI alert action, right? And since we created a UI alert action up here called cancel, we can put that action down here, right? So I'll type in cancel. And there we go. Now we've, and then that warning goes away telling us we hadn't used this variable yet. So, so there we go. We, we created a, an alert, you know, an alert controller. And then we created an alert action, and then we attached the alert action to the controller, and then we presented the controller here. Okay, let's give it a test now. So I'll hit the button again. Uh, we'll build my app. And there it is, and I'll click the button here. And now my dialog box shows up, and it has a cancel button, right? And when I click cancel, it closes the box, okay? So, uh, so that's working pretty good. Um, let's make another action. So I'll make a little more room down here and I'll say let OK equal UI alert action, right? And so I'll just start typing the name until I can see it on the menu here and choose it. Save me some trouble with my spelling, right? And then I'll hit parentheses, right? I just start typing the left parentheses and then it gives me the options here and I want the second one title style and handler right and uh, so we'll do the title here of this button will be okay and then the style is going to be another UI alert action style and in our case the style is going to be the default style for the okay button maybe I'll move this to another line like this right okay and um, for this one, when you hit OK, we actually want to do something, okay? So, so here's where, we'll, we'll, where we will use the, the handler here, okay? And this is a little tricky to type the syntax if you're new to this. Um, but let me show you an easy way through this, okay? So, um, and, and again, don't mind this warning here because it's just telling us we haven't used this OK variable yet, but we're going to add an action and add the OK action right when we're done with this thing, OK? So anyway, so let's get back to the handler. So the handler here has to be a function, and they, we have to write the function in a special syntax here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this to select it and then hit return. And what's going to happen is Xcode is going to fill in the syntax for that function. Okay, it's going to write the syntax correctly for us, right? And it's still going to leave us a couple things to fill out, like this and this. Okay? 
And uh, this is an, a, a UI alert action right there, and that's the type. But what we need to do is we need to replace this with a variable name, okay? And if you want, you can actually leave the type there. So what I did there is I, um, I just I selected this item and then hit return. So it typed the name there. And um, I'll just call it action colon, right? And I'm saying that the variable is named action and its type is UI alert action. And then this is saying the return type is void. In other words, this function doesn't return anything. And then in means that the code that this handler will execute is going to be here, right? So we'll just put some code here. Um, maybe we'll do print, you know, and we'll just say, um, okay, how about that? Right, so uh, so that's done. So there's our action with the handler, okay? And the next stage is we want to um, we want to add this action to our alert controller. So below here, I'll say I'll just follow the same procedure I did above. I'll say alert dot add action, and then the action I want to add here is the OK action that we created just above it, okay? And uh, then we'll test our project again. I'll click the play button. And then there's our app. And when I click set city, the dialog shows up. And you can see I have two buttons here. OK, and this is the cancel, and that's the OK button. So I'll click OK. And you can see it says it prints OK into the, uh, into the console there. And you can open it up again or cancel it, OK? Here, we'll do it a third time. Working pretty good. OK, so anyway, so there you go. That's how it works. Here's a little note. If you have a third action, um, what will happen is those buttons, instead of being labeled side by side, they'll stack up. OK, so they'll be vertically stacked after the second button. OK, just so you know. And anyway, there you go. You can experiment for yourself. And then we'll continue the rest of this in the next video. Thanks for watching.